So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my next guest is a brilliantly funny comedian, but now, surprisingly, I'm told he's also a celebrated artist. Let's find out as we meet Mr Joe Lysette. Here he is. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello, hello, hello. 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 How's, how's that top? How's it? Hello, darling. Hello. So, Joe, I brought great. you a painting. No, this is what I want to ask you. So, you, you are. You're... Hello, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> this is a painting that you've done. Yes. So, I spoke to your lovely producer on uh -huh. the telephone, and I'd had a couple of drinks before I spoke to her, <laughs> and she, I said, "Oh, I'll do a painting of Jonathan," and she said, "He'd love that," and then I thought, "Fuck." Yeah. <laughs> well, before we get to it, before I show them, because you, you, Grace and Perry took an interest in your art, didn't you? You, yeah. you? you had a piece of work in the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. Yeah, so oh. every year they do an exhibition. And if you're an amateur artist... <laughs> yeah, that's... Is that it? <laughs> it's on <laughs> it's the floor. Yeah, it's the one in the corner. It's not one of the nice paintings on the wall. It's... No. <laughs> He's called Chris, and I made it... Um... Wow. <laughs> I made it in Birmingham, my hometown. He's got a Pringles tube in the middle. Oh. It took me about ten minutes. So it's, it's Pringles tube. What other what other medium is it in? Uh, clay and acrylic, darling. Okay, let's get this painting out of the way. I'm kind yeah. of dreading this. I've got no idea what it is. So this is a uh, this is a painting of you, John it's Ross. Of me. Yeah. Okay. What did you base it on? Was it memory or did you have? No, a... I googled you and I found a picture of you with Britney Spears. <laughs> but Britney Spears isn't. Have you you've genuinely not seen this? I haven't seen it. It's <laughs> the back of it. It's my Christmas. Yes, that's yeah. right. OK. Do you love it? Is it your favourite piece of art you've ever seen? I mean, I, I wouldn't say it was flattering, exactly. <laughs> but, you know, I can... I, the yeah. terrible thing is I can see it's me. That's mm. what's the horrible thing. <laughs> I mean, where would someone hang a picture of themselves like this? I think it would go lovely here. No, on the I set. really don't think we want it on the set. Yeah, I think it matches like, don't, decor. Don't say yes. I don't know that. You it could does hang, how can I get through here? <laughs> <laughs> you you can hang it there on the BT tower. There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll leave it there, Joe. Please. Please keep it there for the rest of the series. I think we will. I think we will. I'm really happy with them there. Yeah, I'm glad someone is. <laughs> OK, so... <laughs> Joe's hosting a new one, and I was surprised that he were doing this, because I think of you as a kind of a, you know, a kind of a after nine o'clock comic. Your stuff mm. is very funny, and yes. I love seeing you on TV. I love seeing you live as well, but you're doing a tea time show for the BBC. Yes. OK. Uh, Pre-Strictly. It'll be on before Strictly. Wow. It's a, a game show. And it's called The Time It Takes. Yeah. And it sounds like, and I think you won't mind me saying this, it sounds like a, a very silly idea for a show. It's really bonkers. <laughs> it's essentially a quiz show where the contestants get to choose how long they have to answer the questions, but they choose timers that Alison Hammond has come up with off of this morning. And whilst that's happening, I'm asking general knowledge questions. Wow. And, and you as the host, are you kind and supportive when this is going on? Yeah! <laughs> Like, so, like, on other quiz shows, so, like, Alexander Armstrong, when he's on Pointless, he's very nice to, to very everyone. Nice. Very nice man, isn't he? <laughs> I feel like that's been done. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, uh, at times, quite hurtful to them. OK, well, let's, uh, let's... Uh, I don't think you are in this case, but I think it's a, a good example of what you have in store for you. And this is going to be Saturday nights. It's called The Time It Takes. Yeah, have a look at this. So, there's 20 plastic cups, and you've just got to get them over with a party blower. I swear I have actually done this specific task before. Don't ask me why. Right, we invented this, yeah. so... <laughs> You'll start in this position, and you have to just use the party blower to yeah. push them off the You don't table. have any asthma or any respiratory I, I, conditions? I do, I do have asthma, yeah, but Oh, I'm me fine. too, babe! I did, yeah. <laughs> do you have the blue one? I do have the blue I've one. I've got the blue one. Yeah. <laughs> we should talk we about it every coffee. <laughs> um, I think I'll be all right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, I love following... I follow Joe on various of the social media platforms. You're very active on social media. Oh, yeah, I love it, yeah, yeah. Uh, are, are, you, are you at the stage yet where you get offered sponsorships, where you get asked to do things? I got offered a teeth-whitening thing, <laughs> which... I'm from Birmingham, so, like, if I had my teeth whitened, people would try and nick them. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... <laughs> 
it, got, and it came direct on Instagram. They said, we'd love you to do, we love you. But they called me Joel, so I was like, I'm well, not sure you uh, yeah. do love me. Um, <laughs> we'd love you to do, like, a kind of six months of posts about teeth whitening. Yeah. So I was feeling a bit silly, so I went back to the woman who'd sent it and I said, oh, I love your company, I'm really all about teeth whitening. Um, how much money have you got? And they said, oh, we've got quite a lot, there's a big budget for it, what's your rate? So I said my rate was five. And she said, could you clarify what you mean by five? <laughs> it means nothing. Five means nothing. In yeah. any... So I said, oh, I've never had this queried. Um, <laughs> as a gesture of goodwill, I'll agree to six. <laughs> <laughs> to which she said, can you clarify what you mean by six? Do you mean 600 pounds? And I said, no, six pounds. <laughs> and then she just stopped messaging. So. Wow. The offer's there, aren't you? <laughs> Six pounds. Craig, how much did you get for your teeth whitening? Oh, no, I just... I got a toothbrush for free. Did you? Yes. <laughs> Which was absolutely And what brilliant. did you have to do? You have to do, like, a... No, I just had to tweet how wonderful the toothbrush was, and actually <laughs> was fantastic. I bought my boyfriend one. I mean, how what? much... What? What's so what, different what, How can a toothbrush be that much better than another toothbrush? It's fairly basic technology. It was an electric toothbrush, mm. and it was absolutely fantastic. I don't know, it just felt better in my mouth. <laughs> Tell me more about this toothbrush, darling. <laughs> darling, we can compare backstage after the wow, show. Wow. I'm going to have sex with Craig Rebel Hall. Yeah. <laughs> In the communal bath while Peter Crouch watches. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be communal bath story. <laughs> Joe's show, The Time It Takes, is on Saturday tea times, uh, coming up in the autumn beast one. But it is, it's very funny, but it's kind of hard to explain. It is, is yeah. As it's like, it's a, it's a cross between, like, pointless and, like, the taskmaster or something like that. It's yeah. sort of stupid task. It's really bonkers, but it's really good fun. And I hope that you'll invite me on. I'll come on as a celebrity. I would love you to do And it. I'll give you that painting back. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fabulous Mr Joe Ryder. <laughs>